<laughs> hey, you already know what it is. It's the Al Joseph Show. Al Joseph Show! The Al Joseph Show, the best show on YouTube today. If you're not watching, you should be. Al Joseph Show! 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 We love the Al Joseph Show! Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Al the Blogger. Welcome to my show. I got a special guest with me today. Rapper is Sinister the Give. What's going on, bro? Yeah, Sinister the Give. Oh, Sinister the Give. Oh, it's cool. I'm saying it fast because I, I talk fast. Myself. Sinister the Give. I got you. Cool. How you doing, man? I'm great, man. Just uh, enjoying life, man. Trying to get things going. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Rolling and shit. True story. I remember the first time we met. So we met at a feature, a feature concert, Pot of Gold Festival. Um, you was handing out your your mixtapes and everything, your samples. How did that go? Oh shit, I did great that night, man. I think I came out of there with like maybe seventy or eighty some CDs. I think yeah, okay. I with like ten, so I did great. You know what I'm saying? I actually was selling them. I wasn't giving them out. If anything, I was giving away my name. I feel like, you. Look me up. You want to hear my music? I'm in your phone. That's what I tell people. Actually, you can get this CD. That's what's up. What made you want to start doing that? Like just marketing yourself and uh, putting your name out there. A little bit, really, man. I, I actually just following the footsteps on my guys back home. Man. Right. At, at first, like when I first started to like put music together and put it on a disc or whatever. Right. I would give it out for free, you know what I'm saying? But I really never heard no response to it on my music. And yeah. Shit. And I'm like, fuck, I know I'm nice. I ain't saying shit. So <laughs> right. hitting me up on MySpace and none of that shit. So I'm like, fuck. But uh, I linked up with my guys, man, and shit, they got to the point where they were selling it. But that always kind of like been a tradition, period. Right. In the rap game, you know what I'm saying? Like, artists would sell their music out the trunk. You got artists like Master P who done it, became a millionaire and all type of shit, off of the shit. Too Short, one of the founders of doing that shit, you know what I'm saying? He actually was ghetto platinum and gold on my phone, so. Yeah, I so, follow the footsteps and shit, just make it happen. I'm gonna cut you off, my bad. I was gonna say, so, how you just said Master P and um, Too Short, that started off, that was that started off in the 90s, like selling, yeah, like, worth of mouth? Even, even before that, you got artists like, probably like, Run DMC, man, I'm quite sure they were selling that shit. I think uh, I seen some type of movie that they had uh, back in the town, if it was Crush Groove. Right. I think it's Crush Groove and shit. They was actually on it. Like, That's what's up. This is part of the game, even though it's like, Prehistoric and died out, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, why are you doing this? <laughs> just give it away, throw it on iTunes. Well, I throw it on iTunes, you're still gonna have to pay for it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It ain't shit free. So you basically give them a discount if you like exactly. literally handing them out, you know? You, you spending it at your own price too, because I'm letting people like set their own price. I ain't trying to break the bank. Right, 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 I feel you. That's how you gotta make a way. Shit, you, know? you want it? I got 13 bangers on each project I'm gonna ever do. It's the reason why I'm behind that. <laughs> Definitely. So you originally from Chicago. What made you want to move out to Arizona? Well, my daughter stays out in Arizona. So okay. I was like, you know, I want to be close to her if I'm going to do this shit. I'm you know? talking to the mic. Oh, I am. Oh, okay. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am. It's just like, you know, I just I decided just to be close to my child, man. You know right. what I'm saying? If I'm going to do anything in life, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather, I'd rather her to be near her and share everything with her. I was too far away. And I couldn't really focus. You know what I'm saying? I was in Chicago pretty much going crazy a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because she, it was like, she, she, I raised my daughter. It wasn't like, you know what I'm saying, it's just my child. That's yeah. my mama. No, we was there every day. You know what I mean? I feel you. So, yeah, that's why I'm here. And shit, it is what it is. I don't, I never been afraid to travel, you know what I'm saying, to get out and do anything different. So, it's ain't shit. I just came <laughs> out and made it happen. Feel Definitely. Good. The women look nice. <laughs> right. Like, it's kind of slow though, cause I'm from Chicago and everything pretty fast, but that's alright. I hear that a lot too. It is what it is. I've been locked up before, so I didn't think slow. Yeah. <laughs> I believe. Shit. What's the um the difference between the music in Chicago compared to the music in like Phoenix? Cause I know a lot of rappers in Chicago are blowing up like 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 it's nothing now. But Phoenix, you not hit like you don't hear anybody with a buzz out here. So like, how do you feel about that? Well, well right now, like in Chicago, man, it's 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 just, it's just like a new era of rap. You know what I'm saying? It's like a new form of genre that's being formed in the hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So they they just rap it different. I yeah. heard some I didn't heard some rappers out here. I didn't been to like events. I didn't performed out here before. You know what I'm saying? And I done heard the, uh, the Arizona rappers. I just can't say Phoenix because there's a lot of cats out here. Exactly, you know yeah. So I done heard them, man, and the shit. It's different. It's real different. It's like you almost in Cali. I know they don't like each other almost, but it's like you you hear a Cali rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like me coming from the Midwest of the of country and shit. We 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 hit it. I hit an AZ rapper. I kind of like almost hit a Cali rapper. It's like this this certain. The sound is, they sound the same. Is that what you're saying? Or? It's kind of like it's this dialect and a tone of voice. You know. What okay. I mean? 
And, and then some of the flow too. And then like a lot of the MCs that I heard, they rap kind of fast. Like if they came from Tech Nine or something like that. Yeah. Or, or, or big fans of Logic. They some hot MCs. Though. I heard some hot MCs. Like it's just a different flow, different flow of MCs. I don't know why. And ain't a lot of that's like, popular. Why like, Phoenix ain't popular with the music? I don't know why. Hopefully what, do you, resonate. what do you think you can bring to to rap game for Phoenix? Like you think some different shit, man. I'm I'm always, I'm always trying to like you know what I'm saying step outside the box, you know right? What I'm saying? Do something totally different and bring a different flavor to shit. Be original with it, you know what I'm saying? A good storyteller, good MC, you know what I'm saying? Just a, just bring some different shit. Hopefully a, a great sound to work. You know what I'm saying? If it happens, but shit, just something different, man. Bring Chicago a little twist to it. That's about it. <laughs> you know, put my add the gift to it, pretty much. I got add you. Add a little scene in it. Ain't nothing right for that scene, you know what I'm saying? At what point in, in time did you realize your music was like getting like a buzz? Oh man, when I started selling them. When, when, he start, selling when them, he started or when, when he stopped? When I started selling my CDs, like when I actually started pressing up mixtapes or whatever and started getting out here and personally hand to hand, yeah. selling them to people even going state to state doing and hitting up every music festival or, or state fair, whatever, concert, or whatever, I see the responses because I, I, I I really demand, I don't demand it, but I ask them, the people are like, man, really, just let me know what you think of. Yeah, exactly. That's how you got back at me, because I told you, like, man, let me know what you think of my music and from what you hear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And shit, and I'm always communicating online, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no fake Hollywood ass dude. I'm a genuine person, you know what I'm saying? I communicate with you. You want to get to know me if you're interested in something I'm doing, I ain't got no problem with discussing it with you. you yeah. Know what I'm saying? Or telling you something positive that keep you going. You feel me? Because I'm just some real head. nigga shit, that's all. I like your, um, Demeaning like how you approach your career right now, like you're like you're confident, but you like you're humble about it in a way. Like, Appreciate that. like you're one of those dudes that like when you do blow up, you're still gonna stay the same, like a J Cole type artist. I be hearing that, man. I be getting comparisons like that, and I, all I can do is thank God, man. You know what I'm saying? And then my family, you know, my daughter too, because that's what kind of like keep me at a level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not losing my damn mind. You know what I'm saying? So my music is my therapy. And like I say, I don't. I'm not afraid to approach anyone and say anything to them, or talk to them, and see how your day is and shit like that. Yeah, so why yeah. not? I just gotta be humble, but why have an attitude about it? Cause with the job that I do, you gonna get a lot of no's in life. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't gonna say yes. Everybody ain't gonna want to hear your shit. You're not gonna have a lot of fans like you think you're gonna have. Yeah, you know definitely. Saying? Yeah. So you can only make what you feel is right for yourself. And shit, most, most people may just like what you feel, so they're gonna rock with you. <laughs> That's and you true. don't have your fan base, your little demographics or whatever. What's your experience like? Um, how long have you been rapping for? Oh man, I've been rapping for a long time, dog. Cause you seem like you like you look. You got experience. Since, yeah, I got I got a little bit of experience. I ain't you know, I ain't no big shot yet, but I mean I didn't I didn't, I didn't got my feet wet in a certain amount of areas in of the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to see what it would be like. But I've been rapping since I was about eleven, man. Eleven. I got at least twenty years in this shit. I feel you. For real. Like, I just look young and I'm old. <laughs> but right? I got I got what's missing, you know what I mean? Yeah. If I, and if I'm not to be considered one of the hottest that actually make it, at least I know I got my foot in the game and I can do something else within this industry because this is a big-ass business, man. Definitely. It ain't just about being an artist or being a rapper or being a singer. You can be anything else in that shit. And still get the money and still have the fame and whatever, you know what I'm saying? It comes with it. I most think. definitely want to. I'm a fan of this shit. I love this shit. You know what I'm saying? The money would be helpful. It would be great, but this is something I really love. That's what you love to do, exactly. Yeah, just exactly. like I love to do interviews. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. the money will come later on in life. You just got to stay humble and just keep grinding, working yeah, hard. Yeah, go on the left. Let them take that shit. <laughs> I'm doing it. They took all the money. Really Sinister the gift. He has um, some sample CDs, matter of fact. Wanna... Oh, no, this actually, uh, man, once I leave this interview, yeah, so they can see what it looks like. Sinister the gift. This is the Chicago 2.0 joint. It may be new to y'all, but it's kind of old, but it's most definitely relevant. Uh, 13 original songs. All you gotta do is follow the name. Sinister, Sinister to Give. Can you oh, give yeah. us um, one of the singles after your song, that you, uh, after the mixtape that you like the most? Like, can you tell us about that? Oh man, the songs I like the most, so I ain't gonna rap it, but I'll tell you about it. My, one of my most favorite songs on here is called I Remember. Uh, okay. It's featured uh, a very close friend of mine, label mate, uh, Loyalty. That's his name, he's a singer, R&B singer. Pretty good too though, man. We, we killed this joint. It's just, man, I remember it's just pretty much just, just you know, describing like me growing up in Chicago, uh, but really illustrating the positive shit. You know what I'm saying? Like from the backyard cookouts to us going to big ass parks and the museum kicking in, having like well, all type of shit. Bikers, yeah. the bikers will come out, all the ladies is out, that type of <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? 
know, childhood memories, growing up in the hood, all type of shit. That's one of my favorite joints. It's actually you can find it on uh, on SoundCloud. Also, uh, it's on YouTube as well. It's called I Remember. Or okay. I might say Remember, but it's in the study gift. Sinister the Gift is uh, one of his singles called I Remember. Check that out on YouTube. Um, uh, you said you don't want to do a freestyle? Uh, freestyle, don't. Oh, okay. Freestyle, I just didn't want to do nothing off of this. Okay, okay. I got you. I got a problem with that. I don't uh, know what there we go. Um, this is the last part of the show. I gotta, you know, I gotta do this real quick for the band so they can get a sample of who you are. And they want to maybe hit, listen to your music. They can hear you freestyle real quick so they can show. Sure. Well, before I spit, though, I want to shoot the plug out, man, because okay. uh, oh, yeah. go ahead. got a big show coming up. Uh, uh, Coast to Coast Live, May 17th at the Yucca Tuck Tap Room. It's in Tempe. Just look it up. My name's Sinister the Gift. You'll see all the tags and shit after this is all over with. Come check me out. Yucca Tap, tap Room? Yucca Tap Tempe, Room. Tempe, Arizona? Yeah, what Y-U-C-C-A the CCA Tap Room. It's May 17th on a Tuesday. Tempe. Come on, support. Tem- uh, my Come on, support. Send us to the gift. I'm gonna rock that bitch. But For this sure. is what you got to look forward to. I say some slick ass shit. Like this. Flow so cold. May I please have a thermo? Icy hot bars about to burn this bitch inferno. Young black male, well respected like a colonel, and grinding to the max because there's no limit to the hustle. Million dollar dreams, Lamborghini wishes. Maserati hopes and made back visions, nightmares haunting me and these haters out trying to get me. Wake up in the morning, thank the Lord for he was with me. Breaking down my fears and twist them into Vega. Smoking on success, I and I will see you later. First class aviator, yes, I'm higher than a bitch. Flying in the flock, dirty bird on my hip. Okay. I was always told that life is what you make, you see, and I ain't handed much. I guess life is for the taking. Long nights, graveyards, making moves state to state. Using music as a substance, pushing units by the weight. Come check me out, bro. I got heat for y'all ass, man. Did y'all hear that? That boy is fire. I'm a fucking Sinister, the good. Game. How the blogger. <laughs> we got that. How the oh, blogger, man. man. Hold it down, man. Hey, follow him, man. The Al Joseph show. Let's go. We got more with Sinister coming soon. Please check him out. And uh, as always, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called The Al Joseph Show. And um, your dream starts today. Your dream starts today, guys. Have a good one. I'm out. Peace. Hey, this is Chucky Ford, and you're watching The Al Joseph Show, one of the hottest journalists in Phoenix. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm talking to you. Listen, you already know what it is. I'm Al Joseph. If you like what you see on my YouTube channel, subscribe. Peace.